I don't think I'm ever gonna get over those Fijian welcomes, but we've arrived on a brand new island and this place is tiny. It's like a little sanctuary off the mainland. Mm. Why are you so obsessed with coconut? <laughs> is Any that a good one? Anytime someone offers it, I have to go for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is paradise, guys, for the next few hours. Morning, guys, and welcome back to Savu Savu here in Fiji. We have just arrived at the airport. And as you can see, this airport is tiny. It is basically a shack, a runway, and then the ocean's just out there. And today, we're flying to a brand new island. We weren't kidding when we said the Savu Savu International Airport is just this. And people are just walking straight off. And they just pick up their bags there. Thank you. Ready? Ready. Welcome to Suva! Bag just arrived. This is kind of cool. Did like a 10 minute taxi ride to just a river with a little port. And now we're jumping on a little speedboat which will take us out to the island. Thank you. Hola, nice to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. I don't think I'm ever going to get over those Fijian welcomes, but we've arrived on a brand new island. We're staying at Tiberu Island Resort, and this whole resort is on the island. So we took a boat out, and this place is tiny. It's like a little sanctuary off the mainland, and we've arrived at our little beach shack I would call it so it's kind of like a Fijian beach hut all open to area so at the moment we're currently going I guess in our front yard which is right by the ocean and this is our traditional little hut I just love how you can just walk straight from the beach into this massive open plant like or if you don't want to walk straight into your room like if you've got sandy feet or you're wet you can walk straight into your outdoor bathroom oh this is cool I like how there's just all the little rocks on here and then you can go straight through here, and then if you walk all the way, it leads back into your room. It's just like one big open hut. So cool. It'll help you get together when you're feeling alone. Make you feel happy, remind you of home. Make you wanna get up, get out. Oh, look at what love can do. <laughs> well, uh, nice to meet you. Well, uh, glad to meet you. Glad to meet you. Uh, bola. 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 Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so this afternoon we've actually jumped on just the little boat that's at the resort and driven out to another little local island here. There is a local Fijian village and we've come to visit and also partake in the carver ceremony. Look what they and presented to us on arrival. So cute. How nice is this? Make sure when you receive the carver, you have to clap one. Clap it. Clap once. 
So at any Fijian tribe or village, before you can walk freely around the village, you go and do a carver ceremony, and this is done by the head chief. And what they do is they present a carver, which is kind of like a root, and he mixes it with water and makes like a drink. And then you have to partake in the ceremony and you drink the carver. And it kind of, to explain, it kind of tastes like... <laughs> It kind of tastes like root or like a little bit of dirt, but it also numbs your mouth. So it's all about the sensation of the kava. We have, I have done it before. So I thought I'd join in again this time to experience it. But now that we have done the ceremony, we can freely be welcomed into the tribe and we can walk around their village. Mm, I think so. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. We should try it, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a good one. Thanks. Oh, oh. Mm. Why are you so obsessed with coconut? <laughs> Is Any that a good one? someone offers it, I have to go for it. <laughs> so you get to do the kava ceremony, I get to do the afternoon tea ceremony. <laughs> Got my tea. And my snacks. <laughs> How cool is that for afternoon tea? And they've been playing the best music. Oh, it's Love so good. It. They're such good singers and guitarists here. Yeah? They've been loving it. They've been drinking kava the entire time. We've been here for like a good hour and a half just handing it out. <laughs> Yummy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm sweating from all the dancing. <laughs> We made a friend with a bird. He always comes to say hi to us. <whistles> Hello, Buddha. Wow. He's a little ah! bird. Hi. <whistles> Anywhere you go, tell me what you find. Anything at all, like you had a man. Hate it when you act like I'll be fine. Baby, what you go? Good morning guys, wow, this is literally a postcard perfect shot, it almost looks like a screensaver, Hello. and this one <laughs> has um, just decided to go for a little morning sit, <laughs> enjoying your private pool? So this morning we've jumped in a boat and we have headed 30 minutes out to an island called Picnic Island. And we basically have this whole place to ourselves. It is tiny, it's just a little round sandbank with a couple of palm trees, a couple of birds and we are surrounded by the most turquoise waters I think I've ever seen. This is paradise guys for the next few hours. Amazing, we brought umbrellas, snacks, food, snorkel gear. So this is going to be an amazing day. Oh, first taste of water. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Look at Bob's just out there living her best life. Sorry. With that view out there. And this water is so clear. Like the one time the camera is actually doing it justice. Oh, this is so nice and refreshing. Uh, look behind you. This is this little... <laughs> which I think will take two minutes to walk around. Like a dream come true, so glad we found it. Sunshine through the window pane. Hear music when you speak my name. There's a rhythm of a life here in the moment. So let's own it. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be a good day. Up. 
we have had the most entertaining day from the marine life. First of all, when we went snorkeling, we found like 50 dories, and I don't think we've ever swum with dories before, so that was pretty cool. And we have made a little crab friend. We've called him Mr. Krabs. And he <laughs> is terrified of our GoPro. And the moment that he saw the GoPro, he actually put his pincers up ready to attack. And it was the funniest thing we've ever caught. <laughs> Oh, the island life, get entertained super easily. He was like digging his hole. Uh, while he was digging his hole, we're like, that's just too entertaining. We stuff. need to put the GoPro down. And then when he came back up, he was like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> so, seeing as it's called Picnic Island, we've got ourselves a little picnic underneath our umbrella. He cooked up a feast for us, and this is such a nice way to have lunch. If I ever don't know where Jess is, look for the coconut and look for the water. <laughs> it's a hard pill to swallow, goes down quick, too quick to forget you wanted it, you wanted it. Oh man, actually sad to be leaving this afternoon. Like this, the most relaxed both of us have been this entire trip and it's just so beautiful out here. <laughs> and easily left behind, but never out of sight. I'm on your blind side, blind side. You're on my mind, always the light that leaves me blind. I'm on your blind side, blind side. tonight singers walk around each table and they ask you what you want to sing and they'll sing whatever you want and I see some kids have just asked for Lion King <laughs> Day, I hear splish splashes outside our little bungalow, and this one's up to some sort of adventure. What are you doing now? To be honest, that looks. <laughs> I think it's called a stand up paddle board. <laughs> I was gonna try stand, but I feel like I'm just gonna fall right in. Wait. Don't fall, Jez. That's not good. You're like so at the front. You're gonna fall in. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you did it! Do I look cool yet? You look very cool. <laughs> I did it! Oh wow, still can't get over how clear the water is. <sighs> I am covered up because yesterday at <laughs> the little picnic beach, we both got so red raw. <laughs> Last night was tough to sleep because it was so sore. So I'm covered up this time because my lower back I must have forgotten to put sunscreen on because yeah it's a lobster down there guys it's a lobster pure silence you can literally just hear the flying foxes sometime but absolute paradise Okay, so I may have just got a little bit excited. Back a couple of years ago when we went to the Galapagos, I saw a bird called the blue-footed booby and it has become my favorite bird. And today I found out that here in Fiji, that you can find the red-footed booby. So we're gonna head out on a boat, 10 minutes away there's a bird sanctuary, like an island just full of birds. And I've heard that we could be seeing red-footed boobies today. They're the cutest birds. On the hunt for some boobies today. <laughs> 
So we just arrived at Burnt Island and wow, it's kind of like this little tiny island that's just been overgrown by nature. Like you can see the plants just towering into the ocean and there are boobies everywhere. <laughs> when we were in the Galapagos, I think we only saw maybe four. It was mating season, it was a different. Yes. Or breeding season or something. We're here, they're just all out. They're all just chilling and it's really cool. It's like with most, with most nature. The boys look really cool because they white, they have the blue bills and then the bright red feet and that, that's what makes them so unique and it's so cool because there's so many of them on this tiny little island and they just don't seem to care that we're here, they just have a little look continue on with their day. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, hello. They've been looking at us. Hey buddy. Little holes and just in the cracks. Yeah, to get bitten just in case. <laughs> okay. Can you get some shots of it though? Yeah, I'll don't get go some. too close. So this um island has sea sea snakes on it. You can see the colours, it's like a black and white stripe. A local guide was just telling us that if you see sea snakes on the land, it's actually a sign of bad weather. And yes, we're in the tropics, it is raining. But it's kind of cool, we can just pop onto this little part of the island and see some up close of the boobies and the snakes. You know a lot of Aussies come to Fiji because at breakfast there's been Vegemite for Jess, but for me, I've been able to sit back on hammock drinking my favourite Australian ginger beer and it just adds to the whole experience. So now we are saying goodbye to the island and they've actually given us a lay as they said goodbye and they told us when we get in the boat what we need to do is take it off and put it into the ocean and if the lay comes back to the island it means that we're going to come back. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Another day, another tiny airport. One more flight, guys. We're heading to our final island in Fiji. So if you are new around here and you enjoyed our little vlogs, make sure you hit subscribe. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.